Thanks for joining me to color. Today we're going to be working on this magnolia image called Lace Hood Tilda. Isn't she cute? How about all these great snowflakes on here? I've decided I must be collecting snowflakes and I can never have enough because this is a new one called Penny Black and it's a blizzard. This little sentiment here is from the CC Designs Jolly Christmas um, stamp set and I did emboss this with gold embossing powder but it is not coming in the kit. You're just going to get this circle plane and you can put whatever you want here. Um, I'll put a link down in the description box of the card kit and all the supplies I used. I would love for you to come shopping with me. If you have a question, leave me a comment and I'll make sure to get back to you. Otherwise, I have already stamped my image on Nina 80 pound Solderoid cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. So let's color. So let's start out by giving our image an outline. For that, I'm going to use W00, and I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm just going to color this little section here that you can see behind in, and then I'm going to go clear around my girl, go around all this cute little swirly hair she's got there, and I kind of let the pen decide how wide I'm going to make it. I don't really mind if it's really thick or it's really skinny. And here's a little spot of space right here between her cheek and her hair that is also background here, around our tassel, and then we're going to go back around to the other side. Quick and easy for that. Then for the ground, we're going to use E43 and 42. So I'm going to do E43 first. Let's go out here a little bit past her foot. We'll go right underneath. And then a little bit past over here. And I'd like to bring my line up a little bit onto past. Not, so it's not straight. It's got a little bit of a bump up here on the top. And then I'm going to use E43 to soften that. And then I'm going to give it a second coat of my E43. That last one was E42. I think I said the wrong number. So this is E43. And then let me do another coat of my E42. Bring it out here just a little bit more. And then E43 one more time. Let's do our skin next. For that, we're going to use E11, 21, 00, 000. And for our cheeks, I'm going to use RO2, 12, and 11. Let's go down here. And do her arm first. So she's got a little bit of her arm showing right here. So I'm going to go with my E11 first. Let's brush a little bit under the package. And then a little bit here on her arm. She's got all that hair covering all that up. And then I'm going to add E21, fill that right in, and then I'm going to go over those with my E00. Then for her neck, we're going to again start with our um, E11. And then E21, and then E00, and we'll hop up here and we'll do her face. So again, I'm going to start with my E11, now I'm going to go up here, there's a little bit of shadow marks right here on her face that the artist put there, so I'm going to go over those, and then I'm going to go right along her bangs and under her hat, and around over to this side to her shirt. Then I'm going to grab E21 and we're going to go over the top of her shirt and around the side of her face. And then I want to brush down away from this E21 or E11. So we're going to go brush, 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 brush away from that line. I'm going to go clear around to the other side. And 
and then I'm going to add E double zero. And then my E triple zero. And then I want to add some cheat color, so grab RO2. And then we're going to add R12. And then R11. Then I'm going to grab E21. I want to brush right along the side here again. And this side. And I want to give her a little bit of a nose crease, so let's add that now. Go. Like that. Then I'm going to go with E00. Brush over those cheeks and come across this side. And I want to go over this little nose thing I put there. And then I want to do E triple zero. And I'm going to go over the entire face. And then I'm going to add a second coat of cheek color, so RO2. R12. She's going to have really rosy cheeks. And then R11. And then over those with our E triple zero. And I think I'll add a little bit more to this little nose here. So we'll grab E21. Just make it a little bit darker. For her hair, we're going to use E37, 33, YR31, and E50. I'm going to start with my E33 first. Let's do this side over here. So I'm going to do a little dab up here next to her hat. And then right here where it curls back around to her face. And right here where it's going away from her face. And then I want to do a little section on each of these little braids. Clear down to the bottom. And then a little bit down here on this little ponytail thing she's got. Or the end of her braid. And we'll go with the same thing on the other side. back up here to this little section up here where she's got it on her face. Okay, then I'm going to add YR31. And let's go ahead and start over here on this side again. And I'm just going to flick right along on each of these braids. And down here. And then we're going to do the other side. here at the top. Then I want to use my E50. So I'm just going to go over all of her hair. And then we'll do this side. Same thing. I'm just going to go over all of her hair. And then I'm going to add my darkest color, which was E37. I'm going to go over here and start on this side again. So let's do a little dab up here next to her hat. And just work our way down like we did before.
and then we'll do this side. back up here to the top. She's got some cute little braids. Next, we're going to do her hat, her shirt, and alternate stripes on her pants. For that, we're going to use W1, V01, triple zero, and quadruple zero. So I'm going to start up here on her hat with my W1, and let's see here. I'm going to put some shadows right here. And then she's got a little wrinkle right here at the top. Bring this wrinkle down, and here's a wrinkle. And then we're going to bring this crossed over here. And then I want to come down this side. And I'm going to put a wrinkle right here. And let's go up this side. And we'll bring our wrinkle across right there. And then I'm going to go over that with V01. Then we're going to add V triple zero. And I'm just going to go along the edge of that last color to soften it. Down here I'm going to go right next to that ruffle. And then we're going to add V quadruple zero. And then we're going to do the whole thing again. So W1. And then V01. And then we're going to add V triple zero. And then we'll go over all those with our V quadruple zero. Let's hop down here and we will do her shirt. So again, I'm going to start with my W1. So let's do a little bit up here on her collar and her shirt sleeve. And then this collar. And then she's got a little wrinkle in her shirt right here, so I'm going to do that. And let's go down the side where her little sleeve touches her shirt. And let's go up here. And then let's give her shirt a couple of little wrinkles in here. And then we'll go down here and we'll do the bottom. So again, I want to do each of these little um, spots down here, I want to give a little wrinkle. So let's bring this up. And right here. And then right here. And then I also want to do these up here at the top. That. Then we're going to add V01. So I want to go right over the top of my W1.
then we're going to add V triple zero. up a little bit and then I'm going to go down the side and then I'm going to go over all of that with my V quadruple zero and just like the hat I want to do a second coat, so I'm going to go with a W1 again. And then V01. And then we'll add our coat of V triple zero. I tried to leave a little stripe right here in between all these lines so I can kind of, that will be my little light spot. over all that with my V triple or quadruple zero. And we'll go down here and we'll do her little pants. So W1, let's go with, let's start down here. So I'm going to do this one is this stripe is a dark one, and then I'm going to do this toe, and then we want to do every other one. So I'm going to skip this one, and then skip that one. We'll do this back one, and then. This one up here, I'm going to do this section. Whoops, did I do that wrong? I got this one and that one. This one. Oh, I must have made this one a dark one. Uh oh. oh. That's okay, we're going to do that one black, so let's do this one too, and then this one. We'll have to fix that when I come back down. So I was going to make this two stripes. Okay, V01. See if we can get it right this time going down. So far, so good on that side. And we'll do this side. I'm 
just skip one, skip that one, and skip that one. Okay, I think I got it now. Good job, Heather. <laughs> We're going to add V000. V quadruple zero. And then we want to do it a second time, so W one. And then we're going to add our second coat of V01. Then V triple zero. And then over those with our V quadruple zero. So, for the alternate stripe on our pants, we're going to use W5, 3, and double zero. I'm going to start with W5. Let's do that starting over here. Just brush a little bit in on the inside there. And just work our way all the way across. And we're going to be giving these a second coat too. Let's add W3. And then W double zero. And for our second coat, grab W five.
turn my grill a little bit. And work our way back up here to the top. And we want to add W3. And then, lastly, our W00. Let's see here. Let's hop up here and do this little tassel. For that, we're going to use W7, 5, and 3. So I'm going to do W7 first. Let's do a little bit of that up here at the top. And then where it comes out from the little string that's holding the tassel together. And then I'm going to do um, W5. And then our W3. I'm going to give it a second coat, so W7. W5. And then our W3. For the ruffle on her hat, I'm going to use W1 and W00. And start with W1. I'm just going, I'm not going to even worry about those little flowers. I'm just going to pull this up a little bit. And then I'm going to do the same thing for this side. And then I'm going to add W00. Just to soften that edge a little bit. And then later, I'm going to come in and I'm going to put my stickle stardust on there to make it all sparkly. For this little package, I'm going to use R39, 46, and 35. I'm going to start with my R39. And I'm going to do that right along here. And then over here, we're going to go in this little crease and around our little medallion or our little wrapper tag there. Then over here, let's do right here where there's a bunch of little dots. And then up here, I'm just going to do a little bit right here by the little medallion that's our the package tag. And then I'm going to do R46. Color this little section in. And then down here, let's do... Try not to color that rope. And then I'm going to add R35. And then I'm going to do a second coat of R39. And 
and then R46. I fill both these sections in since they're kind of in the back there. And then our R35. For the rope, I'm going to use Y28. So there's a little bit of rope right here holding our tassel, so I'm just going to color over that. And then on her little package, I'm going to color that in. And then I'm going to use this two in the center section. And then later I'm going to um, cover that up with my Stickle Stardust. And then for the outer part of the tag, I'm going to use Y23. So there is our adorable lace hood Tilda all colored up. Isn't she super cute? I love her little purple outfit. And then again, here is my finished card. So on my finished card, I added some um, Spica glitter pin to her hair and clear to make it have some sparkles. On this lace and the center of our tag, I did some stickle stardust. This little cinnamon is popped up, and remember, you don't get the cinnamon, you only get the circle, so you can stamp what you want. And then to each of these little um, snowflakes out here, I added um, some Spectrum Noir glitter pin on top of it. And I suggest, if you're going to do that, to add the glitter before you attach them so you don't get it everywhere else. Because silly me, I put them on and then I'm like, oh, let's add some sparkle. You could also put some glue on here. And if you don't have the little glitter pin, you could add some glue and then just sprinkle um, glitter over the top of them so they're really sparkly. So I hope you had fun coloring with me today. If you have a question, please leave me a comment and I will get back to you. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.